First, let's see the details of Braden Cross Transeptal Needle and Sheath from APT Medical. This is LA Sheath, mainly used in LA procedures. This is the sheath and dilator. The sheath covers hydrophilic coating to ensure smooth advancing. Flush sheath with heparinized saline. The amount of flushing is about 6 milliliters. Now, flush the dilator. Insert the dilator into the sheath. During insertion, keep the sheath and dilator coaxial. Please note here, keep coaxial and don't bend. When comes to the distal part of the sheath, we can see the curve here. In order to keep coaxial between the sheath and dilator, make the scale on the dilator vertical to the side port of the sheath. Push to ensure a successful assembly of sheath and dilator, and they're ready when hearing a click. Now, flush the guide wire. The guide wire is covered with hydrophilic coating for good lubricity. The stainless steel shaft provides excellent support. Meanwhile, its tip is soft to ensure an atraumatic advancing. This is transeptal needle. Flush it with heparinized saline. Connect contrast medium. Inject slightly. If the angle of the needle tip is too small to match an enlarged LA and AF patients, we can reshape the tip of the needle according to the LA size. Generally, it's enough to shape the tip at 45 degrees. The position should be a little lower, because if the angle of the tip is too sharp, it may scratch the inside of the sheath when advancing. Be careful not to shape the tip here, as there is a connecting part, and pushing too hard may break it. This is the reshaped tip. This is CS Decapolar Mapping Catheter from APT Medical. Operate handle to bend and release the curve. We can see the spatial curve is very adapted to the CS anatomy structure. It will help us to easily insert the catheter into the CS ostium. Place CS catheter into RA, LAO 30 degrees projection. Push the handle to curve the tip at 90 degrees. Rotate the handle clockwise. The catheter is easily inserted into the CSO. Before starting, we should wipe the surface of the sheath with saline-soaked gauze to activate the hydrophilic coating. In this way, the sheath becomes smoother. When advancing, we can hold the sheath with dry gauze to prevent it from slipping off. Now, advance the guide wire into the superior vena cava, then, advance the sheath into the SVC. Withdraw the guide wire. Inject some contrast medium into the needle, then, advance the needle through the dilator. Here please note, keep the arrow of the needle and side port in the same direction. It's necessary to preserve about 1.5 cm, a finger width, between the handle of the needle and the sheath, to avoid the needle exceeding the dilator. In AP projection, slowly pull down the needle sheath complex. You can feel a prominent jump when the sheath and needle fall into the fossa. We can locate the height of the needle and sheath in AP projection. In RAO 45 degree projection to locate the posterior anterior position. Slowly rotate the sheath clockwise to make it located midway between the distal part of the CS catheter and the posterior heart border. Now puncture smoothly through the FO. Then inject the contrast medium into the left atrium to confirm. Withdraw the needle. Turn to LAO projection. Advance the sheath along the guide wire into the left atrium. Then, withdraw the dilator and guide wire. Finish the puncture. Thank you for watching.